Hey guys, what's up? Ashley here, your community engagement assistant. I know this is kind of weird. I thought it was weird, but I realized something today. Benicia is always on camera asking questions, giving you the good stuff. We've never done a five things about Benicia. So that's what I'm gonna bring to you today. Also, if the camera's going like this, excuse me, it's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned and we're gonna get five things about Benicia. All right, guys, so the one and only Benicia, Benny, hey. Benny Golden. Hey. Um, so yeah, like I said, you guys have never gotten a five things about her, so. I've been trying to avoid this. <laughs> and the time has come. So, uh, five things, yeah. what's right. number one? Okay, so number one, also, hey everyone, I feel like I don't need to introduce myself. You should, if you watch the channel, you should know who I am, but Benicia, your community outreach specialist. Okay, five things about me. So, number one, Wow. Wait, we I have this forgot. Plan. We went over this. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Number More one. Than once. Number one. Sure, we'll just start. I'm classically trained on the piano 14 years. Yes. There we go. So when I was in high school, well, when I was a kid and I started, my grandmother always said that what she wanted, she wanted me to be able to play at Carnegie Hall. And for those of you that, I don't know, you're not into music, like, instruments and everything or like music like that, yeah. like it's, a, it's a big deal to ever be able to play at Carnegie Hall. But I probably won't be there in this lifetime, but that's okay. Hey, but I got you never know. I, you, you never know. But Stay I got positive. out of it my senior year when I told my grandmother that I needed to focus more so on college applications. And <laughs> we're gonna keep those yeah. dreams alive. Exactly. <laughs> sure. Maybe one day. But yeah. All right. So, so number one, what is number two? Um. Ooh. I don't know if you guys. I mean, I feel like you might have already picked this up, but I'm. So I guess technically I am first generation law enforcement, but my grandfather um, and my grandparents raised me since I was a kid, but still best friends with my mom. But my grandfather is a retired police chief from Tampa Police Department, and he was chief for almost 11 years and became wow. chief about a month before I was born. So I grew up in the department, running around as a kid. I think I was more upset when he retired. So you should feel was. right at home. Yeah, I know a thing or two about law enforcement. <laughs> it's kind of in the family. Everyone in my family has served in a branch and then gone to be law enforcement. But normally everyone is on the road. I have no desire to be on the road. My best friend is on the road for TPD. And my grandfather is like, that's my other granddaughter. And I was like, live through her. I'm not we one. need you here. Yes. So stay here. Yes, if not, no. <laughs> All right. Well, that's number two. Yes. So number three. Um. Oh, my fur babes. So I have two fur babes. I have a dog named Blue, and he is an American Pit Bull, Pit Bull Terrier. He's a blue nose, but his name is spelled without the E because I'm extra. And I have a cat named Jet. Who <laughs> e is, for extra. Exactly. Oh, we left it off though. I should have, but like also like, you're my boy Blue. Like if anybody knows what movie that's from, comment below and you might win something. But my dog was also named after that. He's a blue nose, he has blue eyes, and you're my boy Blue. Do you and know what movie that's from? He... That's okay. It's okay. It's really, it's a funny movie. So I guess I don't get a prize. Yeah, you don't. Don't cheat. But <laughs> um, my cat's name is Jet. I don't know if I said that. But he is Jet Black. He's just a short-haired domestic cat. But Benny and the Jet, I always say no plural because my cat is the best. And then Jet Blue and they're brothers. And they're exactly a month apart. And they're the cutest they things are. ever. They really like, are. It's crazy. And what? A, tell them about... Your dog likes to snuggle under the covers. Oh my god, so, okay, so, and also, they're a month apart, but they're, so Jet just turned three November 22nd, and Blue will be three December 22nd, and sorry, it's cute, and <laughs> yeah, th that's my favorite, but like, my dog and cat, they fight, like, but they play, but they also cuddle with one another, but like, my dog, whenever you're like, laying in bed, I'm one of those my dog does sleep with me, but like, he'll come, like, up to the top of the bed and start like, pawing at the covers, like, like pull these back and like you lift up the covers and he like slides under them and he's like okay I'm cozy and like it's so cute here we are like just... it's really he's just like mm, okay Good night. <laughs> yes he's the love of my life he All was right. actually the first dog I ever pet in my life mm -hmm. do you want to talk about that got him me and a past uh 
individual that I was with. We got him when he was five weeks old and I didn't even want to carry him in the car because I was, he was sleeping. He was like this, he was so cute. But like, it took me a couple of days before I actually pet him. You warmed up to him. Yes, and I missed about three days of class in college because I was nervous and I was like researching things about dogs and I didn't want to leave him alone because I was like, what if something happens? And like, he's a puppy and can't say anything. And like, so I missed and my my ex and was like, you need to go to class. And I was like, but what if something happens if you get stuck in something? And so you were like yeah. low key paranoid. Basically, I'm that I'm that fur babe parent. Like I read about everything because my cat is also the first cat that I had ever touched and owned. That's All really right, so fur babes is gonna be number three. Yeah, they're my fur babes. Number four. Um, I forgot. Oh, so, uh, okay, I'm kind of clumsy. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of clumsy. I've gotten a lot better as I've gotten older. But when I was in the eighth grade, first of all, such a side note, not number four, but when I think about it, I've smashed my fingers in so many things. One time in the sixth grade, this isn't even my number four, but in the sixth grade, my mom had dropped me off to school and this is why I always close doors with the handle now. Like I never like kind of like slide them closed. Did you, know you get I mean? your fingers caught? I did. Oh. So I was going to get my backpack out of the back seat of the car and I went mm -mm. to go like slide the door, but my fingers somehow like slipped in between and the door locked and my mom started to drive. I've never Woo! seen everyone at Tampa Baptist Academy in the front office came running out because I, it was like a, Oh, it was, that Did was- you a, scream really loud? Yeah, that was a really <laughs> bad day. That's not even my number four. So in the eighth grade, I, I don't know if you guys have ever played mat ball. You know kickball, right? Yeah. Okay, so kickball, but basically like with the foldable gymnastics mats, you played indoor during PE or whenever, but you, you can have basically like the premise of like mat ball, you can have multiple people on base until you get, like get three out. So you can just keep scoring okay. as people go around and around, right? I went to go steal second base, only child, super competitive. There was no need for this, but I went to go steal second base and the mat was not up against the bleachers. <laughs> Shut up, it wasn't against the bleachers. So like when I hit the mat to stop, it kept going and it kind of like slid. But instead of being a very wise, eighth grader with common sense, putting my hands up to brace myself, I ran head first into the bleachers. I, yeah. And that Take resulted hospital, in? Crack my eyebrow bone, boom. Cracks her eyebrow bone. I'm clumsy. You don't hear that every day. <laughs> I've run into a pole before. But wait. Like head first. You stole second base though. Yeah. So it's Sorry, all Sorry, that point was counted. Just wanna point She that stole out. it, so I mean. What's it was up, good though? for something. What's up, though? You guys want to come to Pasco and have like a kickball game? I'm, I'm down. I'm gonna do a kickball game. I'm down. That'd be dope. I can't promise how good I'll be, but I'm down. I just want to play. I have FOMO. Fear of missing out, and I think that's also because I'm an only child. I'm about it. Mm -hmm. I'm about it. Like, but there's FOMO and JOMO. The joy of missing out. Like when you want to stay in, like nah, I'll pass. Like you're not lying to your friends. You're like, no, I'm Did truly you make just gonna. That no, I think I saw it like on Instagram, like I a meme or something. I think you made it up, because I've never heard Stop, that. there's like a new post that's going around, and it's like Jomo. Like the joy of missing out, like when you willingly tell people, no, I want to stay in, let me take a bath. Like I'll just, Yeah, no. I'm not avoiding you, but like whatever. That could be your word. Jomo. Anyways, so I, that's for <laughs> number five, bring it home. Bringing it home. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay, a lot of you ask what's on my arm. I have a couple of tattoos, but this one says stay golden. I don't recall if it'll be backwards or not, but this says stay golden. So if you look on any of my social media, what I'm on, my name for since I've had social media in high school, it's never changed. It's always been Benny Golden. It is what it is. So growing up, I was always taught to stay gold, to not be bronze, don't be silver, to stay gold. But it actually came from The Outsiders, the book and the movie, something that my mom really enjoys, stay gold pony boy, but that's not what I was taught. I was taught to stay gold, to be, to stay golden, you know, no matter what. So that's where stay golden comes from, Benny Golden. It's, uh, it's more than just a phrase, it's a life motto. It's I do my best to remind myself of that every day. Really so, cool. All day, every day. And yeah. if you can guess her favorite color. It's gold, it's actually golden rod, but that's because sometimes you can't find gold in like a crayon or a color, but golden rod. Or your like gel a, pens. Oh, I have gold <laughs> pens, like, sorry. Just If you ever get a letter or a package or something, or like I mail something out, it's normally written in gold. So if it's not, then it's not from her. It's not from me, but if it's in gold, like even like the package label or like the actual letter, you know that I did it myself. 
Pretty cool. And her birthday on my calendar is written in gold. I, yeah, I did that specifically. Side I was like, note. do you have this gold pen <laughs> to write my name in? Yeah. But that's, I mean, I have a, just to, you guys ask a lot. I do have a, a couple of tattoos, but the ones that, I'm, that are on my arms that you see, I have one right here. Uh, that's in Arabic. And it translates to do not mock a pain that you have not yet endured, which is also very... I started to tear up. That's a, that's a really... Don't tear up because I will then not. I'm going to start tearing up. And we and don't then, do that. Yeah, I We know. do not ruin our makeup during the work day. No. Only after because it's a waste of the time that you put in to do yeah, your makeup. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. that's a, But that's just... I have uh, five total. All right. So. so, five things. Number one, piano. Boom. You played the piano. Mm -hmm. Two, your right. grandfather. Yes. The retired chief of police. First black police chief of Florida. There we go. Third one. Fur babies. Fur babes. Two fur babes. Cutest things ever. Fourth one, safe. Ooh, I'm competitive Eyebrow. and I'm clumsy. And then the fifth, stay, stay golden. golden. Always remember, guys, don't be bronze, don't be silver, and stay golden. Stay golden. And there you have it, guys. What, what do we need to do? So what we need to do is ask all of you fine people to like this video if you have not already, to subscribe if you haven't done that. I mean, why not? Why is it taking you this long? Yeah, I'm confused, right? I want a plaque at some point. Like, I want to get us to a plaque. So help us and get there. And last but not least, comment. And today, again, remember, if you know where you're my boy Blue, if you know where that came from, where my fur babe got his comment name below. originally, comment below. I'll get you a prize. All right, later. guys. And on that note, we're out. See you next time.